what is this image show about the character? A lot. Ladies and gentlemen, as we all know, the amazing digital circus has become, well, insanely popular. As of recording this video, it currently stands at holy g. Let's try that again! Uh, so it's safe to say it's been successful, and as a result, many artists have already made their gender bends and human versions of these characters. And, uh, well, we won't talk about that. And if you're already familiar with my channel, you probably already know that I've drawn characters from the Amazing Digital Circus before. But I just couldn't help myself. I really wanted to come back and draw them again. <laughs> so, as you probably guessed from the title of this video, I thought I'd attempt my own gender bent version of these characters. Those are popular, right? Guys? But of course, it wouldn't be me if I didn't draw these characters in my own style and in just one hour. Individually, that is. I couldn't draw all those characters together in just one hour. Jesus, now that would be insane. But while that is going on in the background, what I really wanted to talk about is the criticism of the Amazing Digital Circus. As ever, the internet will find a way to criticize something. That said, I don't think what people are saying is completely unreasonable. Art is subjective, after all. The Mona Lisa is a masterpiece, sure, but some people still don't like it. And interestingly, I think most of the criticism that people have levied against Digital Circus is to do with its art style. So, as an artist, I want to talk about that. I've got some images for you. I'm going to start with... <laughs> When the show starts up, it has a very different art style from how everything looks in the rest of the show. So when it starts up, it's like really pixelated as it starts zooming in. And from what I've heard, the series basically wants to try and emulate like early video games from like PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2 era. As it goes further in, we start getting this kind of art style and everything like that. And that's like the introduction. So the first frame is like saying that this is inspired by like... Yes. The Yes. old games art style and then boom. it's it's very over the top and loud art style because everything is very colorful in there and i have actually seen some complaints about that because when you're actually in there everything is very busy like very very busy <laughs> the characters are quite busy themselves and it's like they kind of i guess you could say blend in like i'll just pop up this one here like you can kind of see that the the characters are actually like blending into the background because of how busy the backgrounds are themselves when you can see the red and blue in the background. I think they could have done something to alleviate that problem. I think they could have like blurred the entire background a lot more. And or or to, like just around the character. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But it might be a stylistic choice to do that because it might be showing... Okay, so the idea might be that they're trying to show you know, just how chaotic this world that they're in actually is. And so the background might be kind of like playing to that. Uh, I, I, I like to say I had no opinions of this character until I literally saw this image. Yeah, what does this image show about the character? A lot. <laughs> Hi. So here it is, the finished piece of my gender bent version of Pomni. I tried making Pomni here a bit more in line with my art style, giving them a bit more human anatomy and the like. I also wanted to change the design of the costume a bit, just to give it a bit more interest, that being the striped effects. I found it quite a challenge, mainly due to the pose I chose to put Pomni in. Maybe I should have gone with something a bit more simpler, but eh, I kind of like it. I also decided to give him a bit of a scraggly, shaggy goatee. Are you challenging me? Anyway, on to the next character. Up next is Kane. So, okay, so we got inspiration from video games, right? But the characters themselves are apparently inspired by children's toys. It's not fitting the old uh, style. If it's gonna go with old games, the toys should be the, the same old. Yeah. It's a stylistic choice. Yeah, it's a stylistic choice. You got the age for old video games, but you're not including mm. the the age of old toys at the time. Well, actually, at first the characters and what they look like seem really random, but as others have pointed out, some of the designs are based on toys from around about the 90s or early 2000s. We have Ragafer as a doll, Jax as a toy rabbit, and most obviously of all, Kane being based on those chattering teeth. Some of them though are just like really wacky and have like no sense whatsoever, like <laughs> this character here <laughs> i can see that i can see that being like inspired by kinder toys maybe maybe on the other hand though we have characters that would fit the brief better pomni and kafamo fit so well within the literal circus because obviously they're clowns and jesters oh and this one is kind of like theater this character here they actually have like two faces they have like one where it's like really happy and then one where it's really 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 sad to represent the comedy drama mask or theater masks we're moving on to our main man king <laughs> He fits beautifully in this theme, might I add. But you see, he is the ringmaster of this little universe, and if you hadn't noticed, his design is also a literal ringmaster. 
I love it. And what's really cool is the way the cane links the two themes together, with the chattering teeth and the ringmaster design linking both the circus and toys together. It's really clever. But yeah, my design doesn't really follow that brief too well. Mine's just for fun, really. Hi again. Here is the second piece I finished of cane. I had a bit of fun with this one. I wanted to be quite creative with those giant teeth, but interpreted in a bit more of a feminine way. So giant red lips was the way to go. It might be a bit too over the top, but hey, it's cane we're talking about. The original character is so over the top, so I feel it works. Well, I think we both had something to learn from that experience. Are you ready? Onto the final one. Onto everyone's favorite bunny jacks. So aside from what's already been said, the only criticism left that I can really find is mostly about the story or the humor that the show has. <laughs> Whoa! Which, while I do love how stories are written and made, I mean, I would love to write my own book someday, I don't think that I'm the best equipped to deal with that. I'm not really an analysis person on lore and video games, books or films. I'm not a Vata video or game theory kind of channel. I'm gonna miss you, Matt Bat. But that said, I have seen some really bizarre criticism of the animation in general. Like, complaints that it looks like it's low quality and cheap. And I'm just like, did we watch the same thing? The animations for an indie team are astounding. No, it doesn't have as good quality of DreamWorks or Disney animated films, but they had teams of hundreds of people at the top of their game, from voice actors to animators and artists working on it. Gooseworks and Glitch had way less than those behemoths, but the show is absolutely gorgeous at times. The lighting in the scene in particular is just so pretty to look at, and the show's animation works for what it is trying to convey. And if we compare what Digital Circus managed to achieve compared to top animation studios 10, 20, even 30 years ago, it's amazing how far we come and it's amazing how accessible animation has become as well. I mean, anyone remember the dreaded baby animation thingy? <laughs> I guess in conclusion it's time to wrap up and show the last art piece. Is that all there is? I had so much fun with this one, and this is my personal fave. I wanted to give Jax a big old finger gun pose to keep his laid back attitude nice and obvious, but I have no idea where I gave him four fingers when the previous ones had three. Don't know what I was doing. I also decided to hint at fur by adding those little flicks. Usually with werewolf characters and whatnot that I've drawn, I include all of the fur details, but seeing as I only had so long to work on it, I'm pretty happy with what I've done. Let me know who is your favorite in the comments? And let me know who you reckon I should draw next. Thanks for watching. Alright, that's it. I'm done. I'm ending the video now.